Hi folks, Matthew here with Disaster Area Designs. We're doing a quick tips video today. It's our first one in a while, but we've got some new stuff to cover. And so I thought rather than explaining it a hundred times to every individual person with a question, I would do a video and that way I can explain it to all of you at the same time. Okay, so for those who are into guitar synths, bass synths, anything like that, Source Audio have come out with this awesome new pedal called the C4 Synth. It is a software definable modular synthesizer in a pedal. It's very cool, it sounds very good, has a lot of cool possibilities, but the onboard preset management, preset selection is a little limited. You can step through the presets by holding the foot switch, you can hook up an external switch, but the simplest way to manage all the vast preset potential of this beast is using MIDI. So Source Audio has been working with us to try to come up with a really good, robust solution. So what they've done is they've implemented USB MIDI on their mini USB port back here. And then we've baked in support in our Gen 3 line of controllers. So if you have DMC Micro like this, DMC 3XL, 4, 6, 8, DPC 5, or even a MIDI Baby or a Q Connect, you can control your C4 using USB with MIDI. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set all that up right now. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is update your firmware. I can't stress enough how much you need to do this. All the stuff that you're gonna see with the DMC Micro today uses version 1.04. You'll find that on our website at disasterareadesigns.com slash files. There's a link in the description below. For the C4 synth, go to the Source Audio website and download the latest version of the Neuro Desktop app for your computer. It's available for Windows and Mac. Download it, connect your C4 synth with the USB cable, they give you one in the box, and select the firmware update. Update it to the latest before proceeding. If you're not on the latest and you're having problems, I can't help you. Get on the latest. If you still have problems, then we can work it out. So you have been warned. Update your firmware. Okay, now that your firmware is updated, you're gonna need a few bits and pieces to complete today's tasks. The first thing you're gonna need is a USB-A to Mini-B cable. This is what we're talking about here. So this is USB-A. It's the rectangular flat guy here, this. And then this is Mini-B. Now, please note this is Mini-B and not Micro-B. Micro-B looks like this. It's the small one. It's a little bit wider and it's it's pretty slim. This is what's used on most Android phones prior to about 2018. This is USB Mini B, not Micro, Mini. It's bigger, it's fatter. It's used on a lot of digital cameras, MP3 players, things like that. We like it because it's very robust. It takes a beating, a lot better than Micro does. If you've ever had an Android phone that's stripped out its USB port, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we have this USB cable, but how do I plug this big in? We're, we're, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere, I give up. Okay, so the other piece you need is our ghost adapter cable. So that is this guy, and it is a USB on the go adapter. So it has a mini B end, and then it has an A female end. So the way that this works is you plug the USB cable into the C4, then you plug the cable into the adapter like this, and then you can plug the adapter into the DMC Micro, like that. You'll also need some power. So we're gonna power on the C4 first using the adapter that's included with it. If you're using your pedal board power supply, that'll work too, that's perfectly fine. And you can see it's on, it bypasses, it does everything it needs to do, okay. So in the DMC Micro, we're gonna plug it in and it's gonna kinda of work, but not really. So hold the left button while it's scrolling. When you see it say setup, let go. Now we're using a factory fresh DMC micro. If your DMC micro has been used for a while, if you've got it on your pedal board doing other stuff, that's cool. You may wanna factory reset it, but if you just wanna press on, I'll show you what to do. So press the right button until you see dev A, and then hold the left button. Now we're editing Dev A. We've added a new device to the very end of the device list. So press either button, left or right. It may be faster to get there if you press left. Timeline, General MIDI, and there you go, C4. So this is the C4 device. Hold the button down to accept, 
and then we're going to go through all of the commands here. We're going to turn some stuff on and off. So we're going to go to dev. Make sure it says dev A. That means we'll only control one device. And then we'll go to looper. Make sure it's set to off. There's no looper in the C4. We're going to go to util and turn that off. Should be off by default. We're going to skip all the util configuration stuff. And we're going to skip the multi jack for right now. Brightness, hold. We're going to go to USB. Hold the left button. It says MIDI by default. It says MIDI. We don't want it to say MIDI. We want it to say host. So press the left or right button until it says host. And then you can get out of that by holding the, the left button, the hold alt button. Everything else you can kind of leave alone on here. Don't worry about it. Hold the right button to save. So I'm going to list up right here what you need to set. So dev is dev A. Dev A equals C4. USB equals host. Got it? Cool. Okay, now we're in the P mode. P mode is preset mode. This lets you control more than one device at a time. We only have one device hooked up, so we're only going to control the C4, but when I press the buttons here, you'll see this small green light lights up, right? And it's changing presets on this guy, which is great. If we go to the A mode instead, you can see we're on preset 9. We go all the way back to 1, don't care, 128. So this is 128 presets. If we hold the left button, see the C4 bypasses and the red light turns off. This is your kind of basic control mode for this, the A mode. This will let you select presets and bypass and engage the C4. And so that's pretty much it. Now you're asking yourself, what good is that? Well, if you have a cell phone, and you have the source audio cable that's included. You can actually put some new sounds in here. I'll show you how to do that. So I have an iPhone 8 Plus. It doesn't have a headphone jack, but that's okay because the cable works with the Apple headphone dongle. So plug that in. If you have a phone that has a headphone out on it already, then you're totally good to go. You don't have to worry about it. You can just plug this in. So here's my phone and I'm gonna plug in my headphone jack here and I'm gonna turn the volume basically all the way up. And then I'm gonna load the Neuro app and it's gonna come up with a C4. So we have our C4 synth and we have our C4 synth and our Neuro app. So what we can do is go in here to browse, community, and then what I like to do is sort by popularity and then apply that. And so that'll show you the most popular presets that are available. I really like this Funk Dragon. This is one of Nathan Navarro's presets. I really like this one, so I'm gonna save this to the pedal. So you go back, use the back button to go to the preset editor, and then you click Burn. And now you select Burn Destination. So you can save it to one through six, but you can also scroll and save it to really anywhere you want, all the way to 128. So if we save this to preset 10, blinks and now it's saved. And so here's all my presets in here, but if I go back to 10, now you'll notice if I go to 11, it's the same sound. That's because I haven't saved anything in 11. If I go over to Browse again, Community, let's grab one of Nathan's presets. I really like his presets. These are pretty great. Machine Octaves 2. And when you tap on it, it lets you preview it. That's pretty cool. How about Liquid Bass? That's cool. So let's save that to 11. So we go back to the preset editor, burn, and then we save that to preset 11. So if I go down, now we go back to 11. So it's saved it in there. The cool thing about this is that you can leave your phone connected on the second jack with the cable while you tweak, make your changes a lot more easily than you can with the desktop app. So the desktop app uses the MIDI over USB which is cool and it's very robust and it's hardy. 
but it's harder to do a gig or a rehearsal. The phone's a lot easier, and the phone means you can leave this connected to your DMC micro the whole time. So now I can step through the presets that I've saved. <laughs> This one's crazy. Just warning you. To reiterate, C4 synth, DMC micro, firmware update on both. Ghost adapter, USB cable, power, set everybody up the way you want them, and go. You can connect your phone with the USB headphone dongle guy for editing presets. Save everything in there. 128 presets all accessible on the DMC Micro. So if you guys have any questions, there's any comments, anything you want to know about hooking up the C4, just to let you know, the steps to do this are pretty much identical with all of the DMC Gen 3 devices. We're recommending the DMC Micro because it's a nice size, it's a good companion for the C4, but any of our controllers that have USB host functionality will do this. We'll leave a list of those in the description below. We're rolling out firmware updates for all the devices to support the C4. The DMC Micro is first. So its firmware is available on the website right now. The other ones will be coming over the course of this week and next week. I've got a thing to do at Chicago Music Exchange on Saturday, so I won't be available to, to work on that stuff very much then. But if you're gonna be in Chicago on August the 10th, 2019, please come by the store. It's on Lincoln up in uh, on the north side over by Wrigley, go Cubs and I'd love to hang out with you and we can talk about MIDI or marshmallows or syntax errors or whatever you guys want to talk about. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care.